Okay, ladies, I am back. Um, I'm actually doing a little bit more of a tutorial. I'm actually going to go on in about 10 minutes on my um, Facebook and YouTube page. And I thought this was a good idea for me to go ahead and show y'all the next steps while I'm getting set up for um, my uh, live this I'm going to do. I'm going to do a quick live this afternoon. So I'm going to go ahead and start sharing my screen with you guys so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about here. Um, so in my on my screen here, um, this is the inside of StreamYard. So, you, of course, you guys see that. Uh, here is where I was talking about adding the stream, if you can see where my mouse is. Um, so we're in the back office or in the backstage, as they call it. And here is where you click to go live. For me, I'm seeing that it's only going to Facebook. So I'm actually going to do some editing while I'm back here. So you guys can kind of get an idea. This is my uh, Facebook page, my, my business page. Then these are some of the other pages that I can stream to. So I'm going to click here because I wanted to also go to my, um, my YouTube page. And I'm actually going to change it to uh, Jose done lost his mind because we're talking about married at first sight. So I just figured I'd do this while I'm um, editing um, this for you guys. Um, let's talk about let's do hashtag lifetime. Since we're doing this. <laughs> um Let's see, married at first sight. So I'm, I'm going to be stopping because I'm actually typing it in as we go. But I want you guys to kind of get an idea of what it looks like when you're backstage. But as you see up here, these are where it's going to broadcast to. These are all the different channels that I will broadcast to. It doesn't do uh, Instagram, but you can do um, all these pages. That, well, I could click on all these right now and they would all um, go to that destination or I could take it off like that and it wouldn't go to that destination but since we're talking about it i just messed it up <laughs> so let me go ahead and edit this again so we're talking about um married at first sight and i'm gonna say jose, jose was his, what's his name wtf yeah, we're just gonna do that because that's easier and then right here i'm gonna do hashtag lifetime and then I'm going to do hashtag Mary at first sight. And then also, I don't like this image. So I'm going to go ahead and change my image. And as you guys can see, or actually it's in the recents. I don't know what I did with that thing. In the downloads, I changed. I did a, um, there it is right there. So I'm just going to add that image there and apply that boom to there. Um, so that image is changed. And then I'm going to also just do this. I'm going to copy this. And then because I want it to be the same. And I'm going to paste that there. And then I'm going to also copy here. And then I'm going to paste down here the same thing. Because I want it all to be the same. Um, and then I'm going to upload that same thumbnail again from here. Bring it there. And it's applied. So those changes are saved. And now what that does. Okay. So I need to do. Let's just do one o'clock then. Because you know why not. So we're going to do this to one o'clock. Save those changes. Because you got to have to at least be 10 minutes out. Um, to make those changes. Let's match those destinations to one o'clock. Okay. Um, so now I have 12 minutes and 50 seconds before I go live. So that helps me because I can make some more changes if I need to. Um, I can invite my guests back here. We can kind of just take our time. So you have your countdown clock here. For me, I have intro music or I actually have countdown times within that. So under here, I have like a little banner here. And as you see these little video clips, this actually tells you how many. So like I have a five minute countdown that works for me because I like to make sure I have time to just kind of get myself together, get my notes together and everything. Um, so, again, I have the 12 minute schedule when I'm ready to go live. I just click this live button from inside of StreamYard. So I don't have to go to Facebook. It's going to automatically post to whichever page. Um I want it to go to and those people can watch it. Um, and then I just like even with your banners, you can tell them stuff like, you know, support the channel, whatever um, like that. So we have like, share and subscribe and that will go to the bottom there. So uh, again, you have your comments from 
your audience. You'll be able to see them here. You'll be able to respond in the app without having to actually go on there. You do your private chat to your guests that doesn't show um, on the places that you stream to. And, you know, that'll help you as well. Um, and then for me, I haven't added myself to the stream, but I will. Usually I have videos or um, things like, um, uh, you know, PowerPoint slides, things like that, that I add to, to my streams and I'll usually do it from there. So, um, that'll just help you a little bit more. I I'm hoping I cover everything. If I don't, then, you know, I have no problem, uh, coming back and adding another video. This is just helping everybody in the community who wants to, uh, learn about streaming and everything. And I have no problem sharing with you guys. Um, let's see. The other thing was, I think that was, <laughs> I think that it, that was it. Um, so you guys get a chance to really kind of see, um, what we, you know, what you do as far as, um, what you need to do, uh, when you're setting up a live video. Again, if you need help, just let me know and I will post another video to kind of help you along. So hopefully this helps and you can use this for a reference in the future. Okay. Bye.